Twitter trouble for one local sheriff, and it's not about what he tweeted. It seems someone has set up a phony page claiming to be the Fairfield County Sheriff. 10 TV's Jason Frazier, live in Fairfield County this hour, on the online fakes. Jason. Well, Jerry, the sheriff tells us tonight that he is very concerned about this because of the confusion it can cause for residents. And tonight, he is considering legal action to try to get the fake page shut down. It's supposed to be another way for the Fairfield County Sheriff Dave Phelan to communicate with you, but he says the person sending out tweets on this Twitter page isn't him. And we're going to do everything within our power to make sure that this site is taken down. At first glance, the fake Twitter account called Sheriff Department looks real. It has Lancaster, Ohio as its origin, but gives an Amanda, Ohio zip code. They had an image of a made up sheriff's badge that said Fairfield County Sheriff's Office. The author of the fake account has even retweeted 10 TV articles and a profanity filled message. But the sheriff says his biggest concern is for residents who sent him crime tips using social media. When they think they're communicating with, with the sheriff's office and they're communicating with someone else, that information could be compromised. It could be put people in danger. The sheriff says his real Twitter account, Sheriff 2300, has the correct zip code for the sheriff's office. On our Twitter account, there's actual videos of the sheriff. Um, there's photos from the sheriff's office. The sheriff's office says they've tried to reach out to the author of the fake page, but they haven't received a response. We have handled this nicely. We have sent them a message or a tweet directly. Um, asking them to remove this um, account, and at this point, they have not responded. And investigators tell us that they stumbled onto this fake Twitter account after receiving complaints about another Twitter page. Reporting live tonight in Lancaster, Jason Frazier, 10TV News.